here now. I know we are still anticipating some rain from Irma, but yeah. nice little chunk of summer today, though. It wasn't that bad out there. Yeah, and I think we've got a lot more of that coming down the road. I mean, we're going to see a lot more of that kind of weather than we will the rain from Irma kind of weather. So, you know, don't put the umbrellas away, but you may not need them all that much. You know which umbrella I need you to bring the next couple of days? Pocket umbrella. The little purse, the purse umbrella. umbrella. Yeah, you forgot for a second. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, uh, you you would use the pocket umbrella. I yeah, guess I, I would use say, the purse. True, true. Yeah. true. <laughs> I, how do you know? How do you? All right, let's take a look outside. Show you what's happening out there right now. Looking pretty good. Yeah, you know that's really the. You, you do not need the big golf umbrellas. That's for sure. Maybe the little pocket umbrella, the purse umbrella, whatever you need. Just a small one because we're just going to see some showers the next couple of days. But right now, really quite nice. 76 degrees. Temperatures dropping through the 70s down to about 69 by 11 o'clock. I mean. Really just a nice evening across our region. No real areas of rain now. 75 Twinbrook, 75 Riverdale in Prince George's County, 74 over towards Beverly Beach. So looking good. These numbers, of course, on our Weather Underground Network. Now rain, we've seen a shower right down here towards the uh, Patuxent River and uh, some shower activity around the Baltimore area over towards Dover. But most of us on the dry side, we are watching this rain move up from the south, from the Carolinas, moving up I-95. So if you're traveling I-95 or 81 down to the south, expect some showers. But that's all they are, too. Shower activity and you don't really see any real areas of thunderstorms and here is the center of Irma a very wide broad area of low pressure now we're going to watch this move back across our region that comes on Thursday and that will have an impact on our weather on Thursday I think the best chance of rain where it is raining Roanoke right now only in the 60s, 64 Roanoke but we're still at 76 and some nice weather across the mid-Atlantic today now as we look towards the south we're watching Jose and everybody's asking me about Jose where is this storm going to go Here's Miami. Here's the Bahamas. Notice it's moving east and then it looks like it's actually starting to drift to the south. And that's that's uh, going to be the forecast here drifting to the south and then down and around and then back up. We've seen a couple of storms do this in the past. It does look like it could be off the east coast on Saturday into Sunday. Here's Sunday at three o'clock as a category one minimal hurricane. There it will provide a lot of surf and maybe some rip currents. So if you are still heading to the beaches, great normally this time of year because not a lot of people there uh, looking pretty good towards the beaches. Now, a couple computer models do try to still bring it to the east, but most of them keep this out to sea. Of course, we will be watching this for you up close over the next couple of days. As I mentioned, the remnants of Irma moving over, so a 30% chance of showers tomorrow morning. So make sure the kids have the umbrella early in the morning. 80, 80 degrees on your Thursday, about a 40% chance of a shower or a thunderstorm with that uh, upper low coming overhead from Irma. 82 on your Friday. Look at the weekend. Some beautiful weather. If you like summer-like weather, here you go. We haven't had a lot of it lately. Saturday and Sunday look great. 83 next Monday. Tuesday also looking quite nice. And really all of next week. That's not a bad 10-day forecast. Just a few showers tomorrow and Thursday. We'll be right back. We got sports coming up next.